I mean, I can actually come back to the other one that we came from. That we got the Leviathan souls from. It's just the first planet that we were on. We couldn't go. We can't go back to it. I know that. You are now entering Fastoon. Touching down in five, four. Oops, three, two, one. <laughs> oh man, I love that. Oops, 3, 2, 1. It's like, really? <laughs> you messed that up? Dual target, target de detectors. Nice. Um, I'll get the more damage for the Predator Launcher. I do actually like the Predator Launcher, so... Uh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm apparently blind. Let's come over to this ship over here. What the? Where is everyone? I tried to tell you, Ratchet. The database said this planet was deserted ages ago. Clink, you see that? It's an old ship! Very old, it would seem. We have to fix her. Ratchet, we must be practical. Tachyon will find the pod's flight codes. He will be here any minute. Clink, please. I need to fix her. Oh, very well. And yes, that is our mission for this planet here, is to fix the ship, and we will. Uh, otherwise we actually can't get off the planet. As, uh, come on. Um, as much as uh, Clank tried to make it seem like we can, we can't really use the escape pod to go really anywhere. Take that. All right, we got a V3 halfway there. It can go up to a V5, so... All right, come on. Really? That's just me. <laughs> just blow up already! <laughs> Apparently he's invincible, but he won't attack. I've had glitches like that happen before. But... Oh! Hey, you think you're smart, eh? Tossing explosives in your hand, eh? I would say not. And this is one of the keys we actually need to fix our ship. A Lombax flight component. Uh, and there's six in all, so you'll be going over the planet, basically. Well, our selected area on the planet, but you know. Oh, well, we got a V3 out of that. <laughs> our stuff is leveling up like crazy. Alright. For these guys, I just like using the bombs. Because it seems most effective. Alright. Come on. Oh gosh. I doubt what you're spawning! That's already spawning. Great. Just wonderful. Alright, let's summon the amoeboids. Blowing up everything. Um. Yeah, we'll actually do this one first. 
Oh, second. The entrance to this raritanium mine is too small. Show a new mechanic. And this is places where we'll actually have to use just clink. And in this game, you will control these little guys. Um, it's kind of cool. You can do levitation in this game. That's actually kind of a cool thing. But I. I remembered what to do. Oh! I totally forgot about this. Slow time down. It slows us down a little bit, but it actually keeps this in a slower form. They would have told you if you actually... <laughs> Yeah, it had the help text on, but I turned it off. I probably should turn it back on because I can't remember half of these mechanics. <laughs> oh boy. Levitate. Makes it easier to get across. And we can destroy these, to, like you saw earlier, to find Revitanium. I think there is a skill point to actually get all the Revitanium in this area in one go if I remember correctly. Also, I believe there is one... I think there is one where you get through this entire bit without Clank getting hit at all. So, let's hope I can pull that off. And the Zoni can shoot giant uh, plasma energy balls. <laughs> Apparently we're in Dragon Ball Z, but I really don't know. Sometimes that happens, I really don't get why. Oh, gosh. Alright. I don't think there's anything here. Oh, this is where levitation is needed. <laughs> Not only do we have to levitate here, we also have to slow time down. Actually, levitates faster <laughs> than normal walking if you're doing this. Oh, I hate this part. Alright. I said I hate that part. That's if you do it normally. Otherwise, you're completely fine. <laughs> if you actually slow everything down, you're completely fine. Don't know why I was too worried about it. I just remember having to redo that part quite a bit. Uh, ah, manipulate. Just trying to remember what to do there. That is something else you can get these guys to do, to manipulate, and I think the other one's destruction, uh, some type of destruction, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that. <laughs> ah, punch you! Clank's punches really don't mean much, but... And we find ourselves more little guys. Zoni. And yes, they call themselves Zoni. And that's actually their race. Okay. This they have to manipulate. 
to detach everything. Or is it? Yeah, it's to destroy it. I, I thought that's what it was. We came from all the way down there. Oh gosh, this is gonna be fun. I would screw that up. <laughs> of course I would freaking screw that up. Oh. For crying out loud. Oh gosh. Well I guess it wouldn't be me if I wasn't screwing something up. I'd like to think that wouldn't be the case, but... There we go. And be careful, I've actually fell through the in-between part right there. <laughs> so... Alright. You can pretty much let the Zoni kill him, because they do a way better job than you would. <laughs> Manipulate that, will you? Okay, there's nothing up there. I didn't think there was, but I wanted to check just in case. Last thing I need is something else to happen. And there we go. We got ourselves a Lombax flight component, so we didn't do that for nothing. Other than story related stuff. Get all the Raritanium. Ourselves 930 rare tiny. And just head out this way. Alright, our next component should be on this direction. Okay. Got him while he wasn't looking! That's what you get for not looking! Just rude, my own. Okay, we actually would be coming around from that area. Just want to make sure before I started going. You have received an interstellar 
Interstellar Holovite from Walter Korkowski. Walter Korteski. Really? Korteski? There we go. I can't pronounce words. But it's Quark. <laughs> but his first name is Walter, apparently. Of course, it, it would have to be Walter for someone like him. <laughs> No one. I don't know. I'm not digging on the name Walter. I actually have friends who name who have an, their name as Walter, so I'm not making fun of them at all. It's just for someone like Quark, it would be Walter of all things. I mean, with a game that has a main antagonist name as Emperor Percival Tachyon. It, it, well, Walter Korteski is just... it, it fits <laughs> someone like him so well. Actually, I didn't go in here. I kind of forgot about it. Uh, let's do that and do one of these. Oh yeah! Abby blood attack! They like hugging, but their hugs are deadly. Twenty-one shock ravenger. Wow. Well, no. No offense, but I don't want to be blown up. Oh, gosh! I just said that. And I get blown up. Of course. Why wouldn't I? Mm. Oh, let's uh, go underwater because we go faster. Because for some reason, when you're on the surface of the water, it doesn't work. Hug! It, it, it honestly just looks like a hug. It's, that's all he wants. The guy just wants a freaking hug. But no one's willing to give it to him. I mean... Can't the... Oh. Can't blame the guy for wanting a hug. But I think the way he goes about trying to get a hug is kind of a little unorthodox. Got a long back flight component. And I'm almost dead. So... I'm there. Ah, we got ourselves more Groovatron, of course. Really? It's like, really? You're gonna make me do that? I'm blind. Not completely. Just stay away from all them things. Stay away from the Shamana. Oh my gosh, that game. <laughs> Not saying it's a bad game, but oh my gosh, that game. <laughs> Some of the lines in it. Recover all that help and do that. Oh, we got ourselves another flight component. And all that money. Alright. The last flight component will have to. I believe it's actually this way. I have to swing shot. And I'm going to get some health back. There we go. Hugman! He just wants a hug! 
Why aren't you willing to give it to him? He's just a nice guy. Oh my gosh. This thing... Yeah, when it's l leveled up, it's actually really good. Good with dealing with crowds, I'll tell you that. I hadn't even used the Predator launcher that much, not rank <laughs> more glitching. Where enemies just don't die, which stinks because you don't get their loot. It's about blowing stuff up, getting their money, and then build to buy weapons so you can blow more things up. That is the premise of this game. <laughs> Get money, blow stuff up, so you can get more money to blow more stuff up. That and save the galaxy. But that's more or less a side note for this crew. All right, we got the final Lombux component, and we can go fix the ship now. So we'll actually head back there. I feel quite accomplished, and it's only been an hour and a half of recording. That's actually quite cool. This is actually, I feel like it's faster than just normal running, so <laughs> you'll probably see me do that a lot. Okay, I think we have all the parts we need. Let's get to work. This! Yes? Yes! It's working! Miserable little droppings. I can't believe they use Sikorada. Bunch of cheese! Oh, and all that. I never see one again. Thanks for repairing me. <laughs> yes, our ship can talk. I couldn't say really. Probably the spear of their technology. All his ships, his enforcers, even the nanotech combat armor he gave the droppids, are all made using stolen Lombax technology. Wow. I am sorry. My nanobank seems to have been damaged in the crash. The last thing I remember was laying down suppressive fire over the court of Azimuth. Of course. I am equipped with an HD-47 optical hollow screen. Hop in. Uh, let's not enter the ship yet. Let's ask her some folks. ...the city with his army of droppings. It was a cruel act of retaliation. If only he had known how evil the Kragmites were. Who? If they had won the Great War, the entire universe would have fallen under their terrible rule. Unpleasant, dreadful, dreadful, dreadful little creatures from planet Zoric. Tachyon bought their loyalty with Baratanian and recruited them for his own personal army. Man. Yeah, as you can tell. Okay, that sucks. Um. Actually, I think the weapon thing is over there, so. Other than getting this, I think we're done right now. And as you can see, we have visited all the areas on this planet. So That doesn't mean we can't come back or anything, it's just... That's a thing. Alright, now we got our ship. This is actually my favorite ship that he gets. For mayhem, grave carnage, adore destruction. Well, today is your lucky day. You have been invited to participate. Oops, I mean, witness the greatest, bloodiest, goriest battle in the universe the Imperial Fight Festival. Rated M for mature. Come on down to Planet Mukau and enjoy a night of entertainment without any ulterior motives or deception. Offer only valid for fuzzy, long eared orphans and their tiny robotic companions. sounded like Captain Quark. Which means it's probably a trap. But it's our only lead. Let's go see what he's gotten himself into. Of course. Quark gets himself into a lot of problems. But as you can see, we can actually visit past planets. And, well, as you can see, we got that. We didn't get both gold bolts in that, unfortunately. Bastoon actually doesn't have any. 
And as you can see, there's actually more than one sector, so there's that. There's four of them in this one. To get all, like I said, I'm not getting all the gold bolts. I'll get it, some of them here and there, because they're only used for cosmetic stuff. They're actually not used in...